This is Math 151, page 107, it's section uh, 2.3, and that means that this number 20 is from that section, and we're going to try and figure it out. So we want to find the limit of this function as t approaches 1. Notice if I just do a uh, direct substitution, I end up with, uh, in, the, in the denominator, 1 cubed minus 1, which is 0. So I'm going to have to try and do some factoring. Um, you know, try and simplify it, see if I can do away with that dividing by one and uh, dividing by zero issue. So I'm going to factor these. Um, just looking at this this top part, uh, t to the fourth minus one, that's a difference of squares. It's in this form t squared squared minus one. So this factors to uh, t squared plus one times t squared minus one. Um, and this t squared plus 1, that's prime, so I'm not going to be able to uh, factor that one anymore. So limit as t approaches 1. Um, and up top, up here, I have a t squared plus 1. But notice this t squared minus 1. Um, this is difference of squares again. So this factors into t plus 1 times t minus 1. So... That's good. Um, so then this bottom, uh, that denominator, factoring it. Notice this is the difference of two cubes. And uh, that's a factoring just relationship that you should, that you should know. Um, x cubed minus y cubed will always factor to uh, the first one, same operator, the second one, multiplied by the, uh, the first one squared. And then it's the opposite operator. If that's minus, this is plus. First times second plus second one squared. So in this case, x is uh, t and y is one, one cubed is one. So this factor is to uh, t minus one multiplied by t squared plus one times t plus one squared. So then taking a look at that, um, that factors out and nothing else goes. So what I'm left with now is uh, still taking the limit of this thing. Limit as t approaches 1 of t squared plus 1 times t plus 1 over what's left down here, t squared plus t plus 1. So now let me try some direct substitution. I'm just going to plug 1 in. So I have, uh, 1 squared plus 1 times 1 plus 1 over... Uh, 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. So this is a 2 and a 2, so that numerator is a 4. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So it looks like that's uh, the limit of that is 4 thirds.